and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. We're doing some more alphabet art, finally. We had a long Christmas little break there, but now we're back to recording. We had a good Christmas and we hope you guys did too. Today we're gonna be doing the letter H. H. So let's do the little saying to help us remember. Ready, set, go. Big H, little H. What begins with H? House, hammer, Hippo! H-H-H! <laughs> Alright. Let's start drawing! <laughs> okay, to draw a house. Yeah, we're gonna start with a triangle up here. And then you put a rectangle underneath it. Holy cow, you're going fast! Well, do you draw houses for fun or something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you draw a door and a window, and you can use all these shapes that you've learned, like rectangles, circles, triangles, to create a house. Yeah, and you can draw a person outside the house. You could even draw trees. We have lots of trees at our house. So you can draw. These are the kind of trees we have, huh? Ooh, I love yours. Is yours a Douglas fir or is that um, a pine tree or is that a cone tree? A pine cone. A pine cone tree. These are the pine cones. <laughs> oh, and you can even draw a little rectangle coming out for a chimney. Chimney, yep. Yeah. Tinder and smoke. Mm-hmm. Because we always are running our wood stove, huh? You get In the winter time. Well, you don't want your house on fire. <laughs> Let's pretend that's a bush, huh? Another bush. And then walk away. Oh, yeah, walk away. More bushes. More bushes. More bushes out on the More walkway. Bush. More bush. I like that. Another bush. And another bush. And another bush. And the road. That's cool. I love it. Don't forget the lights. Don't forget the lights on the road. Mm. You could even draw shingles. What are those? Little lines in your roof. And then this shingle. You could do like this. I don't even need to do little lines. I can do big lines. There's our little house. Now our I little house the in the hammer. forest. Okay, yeah, hammer. So you draw a little rectangle and then a curve line down and over and then flatten it out on top and then come down like that. And then you're gonna come back up. This is the part of the hammer where you pull out nails. Done. What? <laughs> well, I'm still teaching them. So you curve it down and over and then it comes back and make two lines coming down and then this is the handle part. Mom, the you did it part. the same side. You need to make it even bigger on this but... Well, I'm going to do my hippo right here. Do you want a new piece of paper to do your hippo? Or oh. do you want to draw a hippo in their yard? Away! <laughs> well, you'll need a bigger space for your hippo. This is a big bush. What are you drawing? A lake. Okay. All right, I'm gonna draw my hippo out of the water. Okay, I'm gonna draw a hippo, and you can follow along and draw it wherever you want. If you want a new paper, that's fine too. Okay? Do you want a new paper? Kind of baby hippo. Okay, so I'm gonna start with her eyes. So we're gonna make two ovals. I'm gonna make this oval a little bigger than I started it. Sure, you don't want a new piece of paper, honey? Okay. So there's one eye, and here's another eye. And I'm leaving two reflections in there. Yeah, I need a new. Okay. That's totally fine. I'm doing a little bit. I'm okay. So to start with two eyes. Okay. And yeah, you can add little eyelashes if you want. <laughs> and then we've got this squiggly line right here underneath the eyes. And then we're going to draw a... Um, well, we're going to draw the oval shape right here first. And then within the oval, we've got these nostrils, which are sideways rainbows. 
And then inside of those sideways rainbows, there's two little holes. <laughs> How cute. And then at the bottom, instead of drawing a mouth right here, the mouth is kind of down here. So we've got the tooth coming out of the bottom of the oval, right there and there. And then a little rainbow shape connecting the teeth. And then you can do a little line if you need, but you don't have to. Okay, now we're gonna do the oval shape for the head, which you already did. But now just wait for us. So there's a rainbow shape, and then the ears are kind of cool. They come out and then skinny in the inside. Like that. <laughs> Cute. And then you draw another little one inside of it. All right, so there's the ears. And then we just need some little lines for eyebrows, like that. Cute, I love it. All right, now we're gonna do a big rainbow shape coming out of the head and down and over. Well, that's a big hippo I'm doing here. All right, and now we're gonna do a rainbow shape coming down here and then we stop. Whoa, you're already doing the legs. Okay, so one leg is right here. It comes over and out and then up and then a line and then another leg. Bye. Cute, rounded a little bit. And then we're gonna do a little curve shape over to that line and then we bring it back. So that's like the under part of the hippo. And then we're gonna draw one more leg right back here. And then we're gonna draw two little rainbow shapes. These are for her toes inside each of Dad. her legs. Good job. And there was my hippo now. Well, you're, you gotta wait for me. I'm gonna. And then we're gonna draw one more little line. Okay, that's a good idea. So these two parts are gonna have a little bit of pink. Oh, and I need to finish the leg that's kind of hidden back here, but you can kind of see the bumps. And then right here, I draw into one book. We've got the tail. It gets th it's thicker right here, and then it gets skinny until you get to the kind of almost tail. like a paintbrush kind of tail. It's like good for painting. Mm -hmm. So you want her to be in a lake for when I color it. So this is the lake that I can color her in. Okay. All right, you ready? To, oh wait, we need to draw a big H and a little H. Do you want to do yours up in the corner here? And I'll do mine right here. Okay, a big, big H. H. Little H. And a little H. I didn't make a little H. You do one line and then a curve. So for the big H, it's two lines and then a line in between. For the little H, it's one line and a, a bump off to the side. Mom, that's way too easy. Well, it's easy for us because we know that because guess what? Our last name starts with H. Hatch. That's why we call this little hatchlings art lesson. Because we're the hatches. <laughs> we're the little, um, like the little chick. Yeah. Like the we're the hatches. So that's why we call it Little Hatchlings Art Lesson. Because <laughs> we're the hatches. You want to see the chick? <clears throat> Back when I started this YouTube channel, this is one of the first things I made, was this little thing to go in our art room <laughs> for our Little Hatchlings Art Lesson. The little chicks pulled that She's thing. hatching and she's wearing, she's got a paintbrush and she's wearing what? A hat. Like an artist, the French yes, buddy. Her, 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 her feet are sticking through her shell. Her, out. <laughs> 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 and then eventually we painted, I painted that wall and now our art room is kind of a recording studio. <laughs> I, I still use it for art, but we mostly also record our art videos in here, huh? We draw in here, and we record in here, and it's also our guest room, so sometimes people stay here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, we hope you had fun drawing your things that start with the letter H. Bye! And we will see you next time when we draw things that start with the letter... Bye, 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 Not the letter bye, bye, it's the letter bye, bye, I. Bye, 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 b